In this video, we'll be exploring the power of a quotient property. So let's say we have a fraction a over b, and we raise that to, let's say, the fourth power. So writing this out in expanded form, as we've done with all the other properties, we can see what happens. a over b multiplied by itself four times. It's just a over b times a over b times a over b times a over b. And using our multiplication property of fractions, we can see that the numerator is just going to be a multiplied by itself four times, or a to the fourth power. And the denominator is going to be b to the fourth power. So it's easy to see, much like the power of a product property uh, says that you can distribute the exponent uh, to all um, parts of the product, the power of a quotient property says that you can distribute the exponent to both the numerator and the denominator of the quotient. So we can come to the general rule that a over b raised to the nth power equals a to the n over b to the n. And that is the power of a quotient property. All right, now let's use the power of a quotient property to simplify each of these expressions. Try them on your own, and then I'll go over the answers. Pause the video now. All right, let's see how you did. So in this first example, we have a very straightforward application of the property, which states, and I'll rewrite it here, if you have the quotient a over b, and you raise it to the nth power, then you can just distribute this exponent to both the numerator and the denominator. So you're going to raise the numerator to the nth power, a to the n, and the denominator to the nth power, b to the n. So let's do that. We've got the quotient x over y, and that's all raised to the second power. So we'll distribute this to the numerator and the denominator. So that gives us x raised to the nth power, and our denominator y raised to the, I'm sorry, the second power, not the nth power. Um, and it's really that simple. Every time you apply this property, you're just you're simply distributing the outside exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So let's take a look at this second problem. We've got x cubed over y squared, and we're raising that to the fifth power. So we're going to distribute this outside exponent to both the numerator and the denominator. So we'll take our numerator, x cubed, and we're going to raise all of that to the fifth power, and then we'll take our denominator, y squared, and we're going to raise that to the fifth power. And now we have to apply one of our other properties. We have to apply the power of a power property. So we're essentially we're taking x, we're raising it to the third power, and then we're raising it to the fifth power again, and we know that that's just going to be x to the 3 times 5, or x to the 15th power and then y to the 2 raised to the 5 is going to be y to the 2 times 5, or y to the 10. And there we go. It's as simple as that. Now this third one uses yet another property. Um, we're going to take our outside exponent and we're going to distribute it to the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to take our numerator 2x cubed, and we're going to raise that to the third power. We're going to cube that again. Then we'll take our denominator, 3y squared, and we're going to cube that. So we've distributed the outside exponent to the numerator and the denominator, and now we're going to use the power of a product property to simplify the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to further distribute this exponent to the 2 and the x cubed, and we're going to distribute the, uh, the 3 to the 3 and the y squared. So 2 cubed is just 8 and x cubed raised to the third power is just going to be x to the 3 times 3, which is x to the 9th. And then here in the denominator, we're going to have 3 cubed, which is 3 times 3, which is 9 times 3, which is 27. And then that's going to be y squared raised to the third power, which is the y to the 2 times 3, which is going to be y to the 6th. And we can't simplify this any further, so here is our final answer. 